two, three, four. I would probably never consider playing this song, but one of my viewers asked me about it and I looked into it and that's what I came up with. In this video, I'll show you how I would play it in the most simple way, so stay till the end, click that like button, subscribe to the channel, all these little things not only warm up my heart, but they also stimulate YouTube's algorithm, which helps a lot. First thing, let's talk about this capo on the first fret here. And this capo is helping me to play this simple chord progression and to stay in the same key as the original song. So that's why you need it. If you want to play the scores that I was going to show you and be in the same key and play along with the record, you have to put the capo on the first fret. For this tutorial, let's get rid of it and just play without it so everybody can follow. Now let's go through the chords real quick and we'll start with an F. And then we go to the... D minor 7 we're going to be playing in this case. Then we go to A minor. And then to G. And on the top of these chords, we're going to play the simple melody. So we take a regular F chord. And then with the pinky, we press this G note, release it, then release the first string with the first finger. And when we strum the chord, it will sound like this. The next chord is D minor. Just lift one finger off. It's D minor 7. First finger covers first and second string on the first fret. And then third string on the second fret. Now we're going to play the melody on the second string. Next we go to the A minor chord regular A minor and again the same notes on the second string next chord is G and when you lift the pinky off that second string place it on the first one on that G note, make it sound. So then you can uh, strum that chord fully and not uh, be afraid of, of hitting the wrong string. So it's like that. And then we go back to F. So let's go over those chords one more time, slowly.
where the vocal comes in after this intro. Then everything repeats and those are the chords for the verse. Simple, let's go to the next part. In the verse the chord progression repeats three times and then it goes into the chorus. Uh, there's not much of a pre-chorus here, just a couple of, couple of chords. We just strum those same eight notes on the A, a minor chord. And then uh, the chorus is going to be A minor, G, F, C, D minor, back to C, G, and then one more chord transitional is an E minor chord, a regular E minor, and again. chorus sequence also repeats three times. Now, strumming. Uh, How to explain that? Damn, I'm not a good teacher! My best suggestion is listen to the record, listen to the song, play along with it, and you will get it. At the end of the second verse, there is a little pre-solo part. Da, da, F. Da, 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 D minor. Now solo. A minor. G. F. Minor. And then again, I listen to your problem, now listen to mine. Pre chorus and lots of choruses, like five or six times. <laughs> And this is it guys, this is not a very difficult song to play, just need some practice to train your fingers to make those strings sound. And thank you for staying with me. I hope you found something useful in this tutorial and enjoyed it. If yes, please click that like button, subscribe to the channel, it really helps. Thank you very much, I'll see you in the next one.